Hello and welcome to another Pokemon figure uh, review. Uh, this time it is the three pack, uh, I think it's just the Pokemon three pack of the Pikachu evolution line, uh, or of the Pikachu evolution line technically. Um, this is series two. I can't quite remember what series one was because the only other pack with more than two in I remember is the full pack that I reviewed a while ago uh, featuring Kyrem. And as you can see, Series 2 has a Kanto feel. Peaches technically uh, Johto, but, meh, you know. And uh, just, you know, has the three starter evolution lines and Pikachu. Which depends if you accept TV canon, it's sort of a starter anyway. So, um, it's pretty standard what you get. Uh, so, I'll go ahead and open this, and I'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. I have opened them up, and... Uh, Pull them out and put them on display ready. Also, it comes with this, which is a big advert, which, uh, you know, is slightly annoying. Uh, obviously, because, you know, sort of the last thing you want is more adverts pushing your face. But, what is pretty cool, is that behind it, there's like a poster. Again, this is technically an advert for the toys, but I'm quite a sucker for the Pokemon figures. Uh, as you can probably tell with all my reviews and such. So that's pretty cool. I, I quite like that little thing. Um, right, well, let's get round to checking the ID tags first, shall we? This is Pikachu's. And the stats and stuff on the back, uh, where they're all happy together, which is adorable. This is Pichu's. Uh, again, they're all happy together in a different pattern. And this is Raichu's. It's actually a pretty cool artwork there of Raichu. Uh, cool. And again, the same artwork. Cool. Right, so let's get on to the figures, shall we? We'll begin with Pichu. <laughs> so, um, let's see. Well, Pichu's... Uh, not Pikachu. Pichu. Pichu's paint apps are pretty good. He's got quite a lot of detail in him. And he's got his little tail there. Which is the beginning of what will eventually grow into Pikachu's tail. Uh, and he's got the little detail of the black around his collar there. Which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, Pichu's quite small, obviously, because it's a baby Pokemon. But, you know, adorable, as you'd expect. Right, next up is Pikachu. And uh, his very, very huge mouth there. As you can see, the paint app's gone a bit awry there, where that's actually technically yellow, and the top of his mouth is not yellow, because, you know, that's the inside of his mouth. He's, he's waving, as it were. And he has his zigzag tail and such. Uh, the back's painted pretty well. And his uh, ear tips and stuff. His eyes are decent. Um, I mean, I've got loads of Pikachu figures because I've been collecting them since the start. And well, for the first few years of the series, it seemed that sort of Pikachu was in every pack of figures you'd ever buy, really. I've probably got about 20 or something. Maybe one day I'll do a review of all of my Pikachu figures. But as it goes, this is a pretty cool Pikachu. Uh... Nothing mind-blowing, he's, he's just happy to be there, really, which is, you know, nice. And the piece de resistance, the uh, highlight of this set, I think, is Raichu. Now, I'm a big fan of Raichu, I quite like him. Um, he's always slightly... oh, hang on, there's a band around him still from the packaging. There is no scarf, there is actually the band. Uh, there's always this like, mystery around Raichu, because you barely saw him in much publication. Uh, mainly because they sort of wanted to get as far away from the fact that Pikachu can evolve as possible. Uh, getting so far as to make jokes of it in later series. One gripe is the tail is attached there. So that's all the movement you're going to get. I mean, you can, you can move that part as well. But uh, as far as pausability, obviously these aren't very pausable anyway. But the fact it's attached to his hip is, is slightly annoying. But that is a very cool tail there. It's kind of axe-ish, as it were. Um, he looks slimmer than I remember him looking. And, you know, sort of... But he, he's a good Raichu. I only have one other Raichu figure, and I think this is the best one, the best modelled and stuff. 
So, overall, I would give this pack, um, I'd probably give it a 8.5 8 out of 10. Whilst I'm not a massive fan of the Pikachu line, I, I like it, don't get me wrong. Um, but this is a gift, obviously, for Christmas, and, you know, I, I I like it. It's a good set and everything. And I'm glad to have a nice Pichu and Raichu figure. Um, although Pikachu isn't a necessarily, sort of, you know, a ne unnecessary part of the set. But um, overall, they're very well sculpted and everything, and sort of, you know, a lot of people like Pikachu, obviously. So, um, you know, if you do, then this is a good set to get, especially for the... Um, other two figures, the Pichu and Raichu. So, uh, that about wraps it up, ready for this review. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, until next time, goodbye.